KE6 VRK here. Today, let's work on multiple videos regarding the Baofeng, the UV5R. And this first video is about storing a memory from the VFO and storing it into a memory slot. So what we're going to do is store that specific memory to channel one and I am going to publish a, I'm going to put on the website a, a PDF on the website which has a listing of all these menus that I'm using but I'm going to tell you what the menus are when you push them. And when you use those numbers it's actually a shortcut key instead of going through the whole menu. We have a frequency on the VFO 146520 and what we're going to do is put that in right now. We're going to go to menu 27. So we hit menu and then we say 27. That is the menu channel. Now we hit menu again and you scroll it up or down and we're putting it in this one. Menu in this one, number one. Now if I hit menu again, it stores it. Now here's the difference with this. If it has CH in front of it, it means that particular memory has already been filled. So now let's go and display this. So let's display it. On the top is MDFA, on the bottom is MDFB. So we're going to go on the menu to MDFA, which is menu 21. So we can hit menu 21. And we can change what it's displayed as a name, a frequency, or a channel. We're going to change that to name, and then we can hit menu again. And I usually hit, you can either wait or hit trans or exit. We can hit exit. To display this, what you do is hit this, VFO MR. Now we have the name of that memory, which is one, which is 146.520. And if I hit it again, that is what it is in the VF, the VFO. What I was showing you on that, on menu 21, you hit menu again to go into this. You can have it on the channel, the frequency. Let's try that if I go back. And you'll see the number one on the side. That is the frequency of what we just programmed. We're going to go back to that one, 21. And we're going to change it to name. Let's go to that and hit exit. And we don't have a name programmed on it, so it's just going to put that in there. And let's put it back to channel number. So it's memory 21, then you hit menu again and change it over to channel and hit menu again and we exit and now the display shows it as CH001. Now the next step, let's delete CH001. So I'm going to go, it's optional, you can go to VF, VFO or memory. Let's go to VFO and what I'm going to do is go to menu 28. So we hit menu 28 and then hit menu again to go into the selection and you can move this around till you get the channel you want and we want one. If I hit menu again which goes back out it is instantly deleted. So let's hit exit and let's go to our memory and notice it doesn't appear. Now it's CH002. We no longer have CH001. So there is our VFO. 
and I will go through another one on how to store the inputs well actually this is a simplex frequency so I will do the next video on how to store a repeater frequency which is almost the same steps as this the only difference is we need to program the offset we need to make sure it's plus or minus and we need to make sure the CTCSS is the right frequency. So 73 is from KE6VRK and I will be posting another video really soon.